Here's a this is a new Dragon Board 600C. Hello, hey, who are you? Hey, I'm uh, Rob Clark. I'm here with uh, Srini from the Qualcomm hey. landing team. So, uh, what have you been doing? Uh, landing this this board? Yeah, so this is a uh, Snapdragon 600 uh, uh, chip, which uh, basically sits between potency and uh, 800 820. Uh, so what we got here is a consumer edition um, extended form factor board. So it's like a quad core crate uh, yeah. chipset. Yes. It's the APQ8064 with the Adreno 320. Yeah. It's pretty powerful GPU. Yeah, it's, I mean, performance-wise, it sits between the 410 and the 820. It's not as fast as the 820, but it's considerably faster than the 410. So, so what kind of uh, extra performance would people want to need this one for? What would they do with it, maybe? Uh, if you want a little faster gaming or faster CPU, you know, it depends on what you what you want. But if you if, if the 410 is not quite enough boom, then 600 is the next step up, and then from that, 820. So all the work that's been done around the 410 and the, maybe the 800 series, it's it's been easy to take that kind of stuff and bring it to this one? Yeah. Or because it's different uh, no, so, architecture? Uh, uh, it's, it's a different architecture, but uh, the code is already upstreamed in the main line. So we are just putting off the main line and uh, uh, with, with a couple of patches. Yeah. And it's smooth? It's stable? Yeah, it's, it's stable. Yeah. What are you doing right now, for example? I'm just installing GLMark 2, so we have something to show. You're installing which one? <laughs> uh, GLMark 2. So that's uh, like a benchmark? Uh, yeah, you could kind of call it a benchmark. What does it do? Uh, it's graphic stuff? Yeah, it uses a GPU. So, GLMark 2. <laughs> uh, it cycles through a few different scenes. Just to show that the, the GPU, the free Duino is working well? Yep. yep. The free Duino is getting lots of use, like millions of people using it, or what? Yeah, it seems that way, yeah. Everybody that does open source stuff with these boards, basically are using it, right? Yeah, I see a lot of uh, Snapdragon stuff in the demos around, uh, around the room today, so... That's All right. Is it, can you, can we look at the board just a second? There's a full size Ethernet. Yep. Full size Ethernet and what else? Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It has got uh, USB and the micro SD connector. So it's got a few more things than a small board. Yes, it has got onboard Ethernet. That's one of the gigabit yeah. fast Ethernet. Yeah, hooked over to PCI, right? Yeah, it, it works. It's on top of PCI. Uh, we got uh, SDIO based WLAN uh, uh, support as well. What do you say on top of PCI? What is uh, Ethernet? This Ethernet on top of PCI. Yes, yeah, connected via PCI, so it's not just USB Ethernet. All right, and uh, this is the little. Uh, you can connect all the low speed and stuff and the high speed. Yep. And all the mezzanine boards from the smaller boards will just fit somehow? Yeah, that, that, that's as part of the 96 board compliance thing. Cool. How, what, how much more work is there to be done on this one? Not Everything's much. working? No, we have got a couple of patches for CPU Freak which needs to go in. Uh, because we're changing generic framework, it, it's still under discussion.